Well, this is the day that the Lord has made, and I am rejoicing and being glad in it. What a mighty God we serve. What an awesome God we serve. What a powerful God we serve. Heaven bow before him. Angels bow before him. Heaven and earth adore him. What a mighty God we serve. I bless you this morning, Global Church family. You are welcome this morning at the altar of prayer. Today is day number 80 of our 100 days of prayer. What a mighty God we serve. We are so blessed to be in the company of the Holy Spirit, the angels of God, and like-minded soldiers like yourself. You are welcome on this morning to pray with us. You are welcome to agree with us in prayer. You are welcome this morning to draw from the altar of prayer what you need from God. Whatever you came to receive this morning, it is here at the altar of prayer. This is Apostle Anna Edwards, lead intercessor of the network of intercessors and seers and team leader of the prayer tower world harvest global church this morning i want you to settle in and connect yourselves to the altar of prayer whatever you came for it's here this morning if you need healing it is here if you need deliverance it is here if you need breakthrough it is here at the altar receive your strength this morning receive new grace this morning Receive fresh oils this morning upon your head. Receive it from the Lord. Receive your portion. Do not leave the altar without receiving your portion. Connect to collect. Connect to the altar of prayer this morning. Yahweh Elohim is here. There is an anointing that breaks the yoke. There is an anointing that shifts atmosphere. There is an anointing that moves mountain. Receive your portion. Receive your portion this morning. The Spirit of the Lord is here. Receive your portion. Receive your portion. Whatever you need from the Lord, it's here this morning. Receive your portion. Receive your portion. New strength for a new day. New strength for a new day. Receive your portion. New strength for a new day. New grace for a new day. New anointing for new grounds. Somebody's breaking new grounds this week. This is the week where we break new grounds. This is the week where we take new territories. This is the week where we put our foot in the wealthy place. This is the week where we cross over into new dimensions. New grounds, new grounds. Somebody's breaking new grounds. This is the week, beloved of God. Doesn't matter what the enemy tries to show us happening in our nation. God always has a plan and a purpose. What the enemy meant for evil in our nation with this carnival week, God is going to turn it into good. I say we are breaking new grounds. We are breaking new grounds. We are breaking new grounds. This is the week to break new grounds. Don't be distracted by the carnival parades. Don't be distracted by what the enemy is trying to bring. Don't be distracted by all that uh, counterfeit. Put your eyes on Jesus. There is great purpose. There is great purpose. Whenever you see a nation in lamentation, I want you to always remember there is great purpose in that lamentation. There is great purpose in that travail. There is great purpose in that intercession. There is purpose in the pain. And intercessors, watchmen, seers, under the sound of my voice, I want you to get ready to break new grounds. This is the week 
where your ministry is about to take on a new expression. I want you to look for the new expression. I want you to feel the heavens, feel the wind of the Holy Spirit. The new expression comes this week in your ministry. God is going to show up. God is going to show off and God is going to give us new expressions how we may witness to the multitudes that are in the valley of decision. Don't get caught up. Don't try to go out there in the carnivals to win any souls. Don't get caught up. Don't get yourself uh, yoked in all of that bondage. Just wait on the Lord. Wait on the Lord. Wait on the Lord. New expressions are coming. New anointing is coming. New strength is coming. The Lord is going to teach us and show us how to win the souls. God is coming through. Wait on the Lord. Wait on the Lord. Wait on the Lord. New expressions. New expressions. New anointing. New power. New grace. New glory is coming. Come on. I've been interceding. I've been calling upon the Lord concerning this carnival season. And this is what the Lord said. Wait on me in the secret place. Wait on me. Wait on me. New expressions are coming. New grace is coming for the new anointing. New grace is coming for the new territory. Many of you are coming into new, new, new. The Lord is making all things new. A fresh anointing is coming. A new grace is coming. So let us not get ourselves caught up in the carnival season out there trying to go to any street corner to witness to anyone because there are bottles that are going to be flying. You don't want to get your head um, split open because someone threw a glass bottle and it collided with your head. Stay indoors. Stay indoors and wait on the Lord. Stay indoors. Stay in the ark of safety. That's the reason for the ark. The ark of safety is to cover the righteous. Stay in the ark of safety. Stay in the ark of safety. Wait on the Lord. This is your portion of scripture this morning. I want you to inscribe it on the walls. 2 Corinthians 7 and 1. This is your portion. 2 Corinthians 7 and 1. While we are waiting on the Lord in the ark of safety during this carnival season... This is your scripture, 2 Corinthians 7 and 1. Let us purify ourselves from everything that contaminates the body and the spirit, perfecting holiness. That's our portion. That's your portion. Let us purify ourselves from everything that contaminates the body and the spirit. Perfecting holiness. Second Corinthians 7 and 1. Let us purify ourselves. Purify our minds. Purify our spirit. Purify our words. Purify our conversation. Purify our minds. Without a renewed mind, many of us will be still stuck in the old. Let us ask the Lord to purify our mind. Purify our thoughts, purify our ways, purify our spirit, purify our attitudes. You say, Lord, purify us. Remove anything that is not like you that may contaminate our bodies and our spirit, perfecting holiness. Contamination of the body comes also in poisonous foods, foods that are overly contaminated with preservatives, Foods that are, um, you know, not, not organic. Foods that are just laden with preservatives and poisonous substance and seasonings and all of these different things. So the Lord is saying, let us purify ourselves from everything that contaminates the body and the spirit perfecting holiness. So this weekend, this carnival week, it's a week to pursue holiness. And the way that we are pursuing holiness, we are perfecting, we are purifying our bodies, we are pur purifying our spirit, and we are purifying our mind. We are perfecting holiness. We are perfecting holiness through the purification process. 
He is a holy God. He is a holy God. And we recognize and reverence His holiness. We reverence your holiness, mighty God. We reverence your holiness. As we continue to pray for those out in the carnivals, we are remembering to protect and to reverence our own holiness in the Lord. We remember to purify ourselves. We are remembering to purify our, our mind. We are remembering to purify our spirits. Let's remember to purify, to purify, purify anything that is may contaminate the body and the spirit, perfecting holiness. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Let us lift up a prayer right now for the youth of our nation. This morning is the morning to pray for the youth of our nation. And the Lord says that he calls the young because they are strong. And so we want to pray for the youth of our nation that there will be revival in the land, that great revival will come, that the Spirit of the Lord will breed over our land, that the Spirit of the Lord will breed over our young people. Amen. So mighty God, even now, we just lift up our young people. We lift up the youth of our land, those that may get caught up in the carnival season. And mighty God, we pray even now that your Holy Spirit will breed over our young people, our sons, our daughters, our nieces, our nephews. We pray, God, that you will begin to purify them in their heart, in their mind, in their spirit. Let the Spirit of the Lord breed upon all young people. Visit them wherever they are. Visit them in the schools this week mighty god secondary schools are having all these carnival jump up all these carnival parties so many young people are going to get themselves caught up in the in the auditoriums with the jam sessions they are going to be jamming mighty god children that are Christians, sons and daughters of ministers, sons and daughters of pastors, sons and daughters of evangelists. Lord, I lift up a prayer this morning and I'm asking you, mighty God, pour out your spirit upon all our youth. Pour out your spirit upon our young people. Pour out your spirit upon our sisters and our brothers. Let them not get caught up in the jamming sessions. Let them not get caught up in the parties. Mighty God, so many sons and daughters are already making plans they're making plans to be in the parties they're making plans to be out there they're making plans to be in the in the jamming sessions but mighty god i ask that you send down your warring angels and intervene intervene in the life of our young people intervene mighty god send down your warring angels intervene god visit our young people visit them on the highways visit them on the byways visit them in the taxis visit them in the maxis visit our young people mighty god let there be a divine visitation visit them in the supermarkets visit them in the bars visit them in the friends homes visit them when they go shopping in the malls visit our nation's youth visit them mighty god in the schools in their classrooms mighty god well while the recess breaks are in progress visit our young people god everywhere mighty god visit them lord visit them lord let your holy spirit move upon their hearts mighty lord visit them god wherever they are in the mighty name of jesus Cleanse their mind and purify their hearts, God. Purify their spirit from the contamination of the world. Purify their spirit from the evil music of the world that they will hear in the maxis and in the taxis. Lord, purify their spirit. Purify their heart. Purify their souls, mighty God. Purify their eyes from the evil movies. The movies that are showing on the television. The movies on the Netflix. The movies on YouTube. 
purify their eyes. Lord, so many of them come home and they sit in front of the YouTube. They sit in front of Instagram. They sit on the social medias and their eyes and their mind are contaminated by the pervert, the perversion of the Instagram. Their minds are contaminated by the perversion on social media. They are, they are plagued with low self-esteem. They are plagued with, with issues, God, issues of social development, issues of the heart. They are plagued with issues of feeling less than enough. They are plagued with issues of not feeling uh, like they are matching up with society. And mighty God, so many are bogged down by these issues of depression, issues of oppression. But we bind every spirit of low self-esteem this morning. We bind every spirit of oppression and depression that will try to come against our nation's youth. We bind every contrary spirit right now, every spirit that plagues their mind, every mind control in the music, every mind control in the video games, every mind control in the Netflix, every mind control. We bind it right now by the power of Jesus the Messiah and we release the fire of God and the blood of Jesus to burn up the works of the enemy, to burn up every spirit of domination, spirits of lust against our young people, our nieces, our nephews, our daughters, our sons. We release the fire of God and the blood of Jesus to burn up the spirits of destruction, the spirits of sexual fantasies in the movies and on Netflix. Netflix and on the dating sites. So many young people are visiting the dating sites. They are visiting pornography sites. Mighty God, we ask you to intervene. Intervene in our nation's youth this morning. The spirit of perversion is moving through the land, taking over the minds of our young people. We bind the spirit of perversion. We bind that spirit, God, oh God of intimidation and rebellion our young people have been rebelling they are rebelling against parents they are rebelling against aunties they are rebelling against grannies they are rebelling against teachers oh god hear our cry this morning for the youth of our nation they are re in the spirit of rebellion but we release the fire of god and the blood of jesus to bind every spirit of rebellion in our nation's youth bind the spirit of lawlessness bind the spirit of wickedness in the hearts of our young people mighty god the spirit of rejection so many of them are suffering because of rejection from a youth our young people suffer because of rejection from parents at a young age and the spirit of rejection has taken hold in the empty spaces of their hearts and now they are harboring rejection. They are harboring bitterness. They are bitter against family members. They are bitter against mothers. They are bitter against fathers. They are bitter against someone who may have spoken to them. To give them correction. But Lord this morning I come against every spirit of bitterness. In the hearts of our young people. I bind every spirit of bitterness and rejection. I pull it up from the root, from the root, from the root. I pull up that spirit of rejection right now. I pull up that spirit of rejection out of the hearts of our young people from the root. Let the spirit of rejection be uprooted, be uprooted, be uprooted. Let the spirit of rejection be uprooted right now. The spirit of rebellion be uprooted. The spirit of bitterness. Be uprooted from the root in the mighty name of Jesus. And let the love of Jesus replace that void. Let the love of Jesus replace that void. Let the love of Jesus go into the hearts of our young people and replace. Replace every void, every empty space in the hearts of our young people. Replace it, mighty God. Every empty space, every empty space. 
Replace it with the love of Jesus. Replace it with holiness. Replace it with purity. Replace it with purpose. Replace it with destiny in the hearts of our young people in the mighty name of Jesus. Lord, I come against every spirit of paranoia. Mighty God, there are young people right now in our nation that have paranoia. They are paranoid about many things. They are paranoid about friends not liking them. They are paranoid about people not liking their clothes. They are paranoid about uh, peers not liking their shoes, their school sneakers. They are paranoid about their book bags. They are paranoid about friends not liking their hairstyles. They are paranoid about friends not liking their earrings. They are paranoid about eyebrows. They are paranoid about eyelashes. They are paranoid about their skin. They are paranoid about freckles. They are paranoid about skin color. They are paranoid about pimples on their faces. Mighty God, I come against that spirit of paranoia. I come against that spirit right now that is released against our nation's young people to call them not to like themselves to cause them to think something is wrong with themselves I bind every spirit of low self-esteem that demon of paranoia that is released to make our young people not like themselves to think that they are less than of a person I bind it right now I bind it right now and I declare over our young people you are good you are well you are fearfully and wonderfully made everything about you is good you are enough you are good enough you are made in the image and likeness of god your hair is beautiful your face is beautiful your freckles are beautiful your skin color is beautiful your size is beautiful you are beautiful with your skinny self you are beautiful with your chubby self you are beautiful with your book bags you are beautiful with whatever shoes you wear you are beautiful with whatever garments you wear you are beautiful with straight hair you are beautiful with natural hair you are beautiful with curly hair you are beautiful in your own image and own way because you are created in the image and likeness of God you are beautiful you are beautiful to all our young people to all the children of the prayer tower, to all the children of the families under the sound of my voice, you are beautiful. You are beautiful. You are made in the image and likeness of God and you are beautiful. Every spirit of paranoia be destroyed right now by the fire and blood of Jesus Christ. You are beautiful. You are beautiful and you have purpose and you have great destiny. In the mighty name of Jesus, you do not have to go out trying to be accepted. You are beautiful. You are made in the image and likeness of Jesus Christ. All these friends that some of our young people try to impress, it's a spirit. And so we bind every spirit of paranoia. Right now, every spirit is broken. Every spirit of paranoia is broken. And we release the perfect love of Jesus because it is the perfect love that casts out all fear. Spirit, the paranoia works with fear. And so we release the perfect love. The perfect love of Jesus casts out all fear. I just release perfect love over the atmosphere right now. Perfect love be released over our young people right now. Perfect love be released in their classrooms right now. Whatever classroom they are in, form one, form two, form three, form four, form five, lower six, upper six, I release perfect love. Perfect love be released in your classrooms right now. As you step into the classroom, perfect love comes upon you. You will love yourself. You will be grateful to God for making you just the way you are. You are perfect. You are perfect in the Lord and in the way and the things of the Lord. In the mighty name of Jesus. I speak purpose and destiny over your life. Purpose and destiny be released over your life. Every one of our young people, as we begin to release their names this morning, 
I'm going to begin to speak purpose and destiny over their lives. Let's begin to send their names up. I speak purpose and destiny over the lives of our young people, over Mariah this morning, over Kaylee this morning. I release purpose and destiny over their lives. I release purpose and destiny over Nathan this morning, over Becky this morning, over Rachel this morning. I release purpose and destiny over Antonio and Anthony this morning. Perfect love. Perfect love be released over our children this morning. Perfect love be released over destiny this morning. Perfect love be released over Ronald, Ricardo and Star this morning. Grace and peace and destiny. I open up their destiny to the greatness of God. Perfect love over Liam and Tristan this morning. I release the perfect love of Jesus that cast out all fear. I open up the destiny of your sons and daughters. I open up the destiny over Amir this morning. Perfect love. Perfect love be released over Simone, Ayola, Natasha, Christian. The perfect love of Jesus. The grace of God. Their destinies are being opened up this morning. The Spirit of the Lord covers their destiny with perfect love. Perfect love this morning be released over Veron and Donovan this morning. Destiny, Bevon, Brendan, perfect love. Kaylee, Mariah, Judah, perfect love. Let your destiny be opened up. I seal your destinies in the blood of Jesus. I seal the destinies of your sons and daughters in the blood of Jesus. Perfect love over Elena, Shane, Shania, Chad, Chelsea, Justin, and Ken. Perfect love. Perfect love be released this morning over Javante, John, Abigail, Marcano, Abigail, and Olinch. Perfect love. I seal their destinies in the blood of Jesus. Perfect love be released over Ian, Adrian, Anton. Over Brad right now, the perfect love of Adonai be released. Angels are being released this morning. Angels are on assignment to your young people. I declare a divine visitation to our young people, to the youth of the nations of the world. Divine visitations. Angels are on assignment this morning. I release angels, angels, angels. My God, angels are everywhere. Receive the strength of the Lord. Mylon and Kyle, Chanel, Ricardo, Ronald, Star. Angels be released to you. Perfect love. Chad and Joss, Aria, Megan. Perfect love. Perfect love. Dana, Roland, Daniela. Perfect love. Your destinies are being sealed this morning. The children's, our young people's destinies are being sealed. Angels are on assignment this morning to our young people. Perfect love be released. Chad, Chelsea, Chelsea and Raya. Renuka, Jordan and Isaac. Perfect love. I seal your destinies with great purpose this morning. The anointing of God rests upon our sons and daughters. New oil is being poured upon our sons and daughters as we pray. Purpose and destiny over Ronald, Ricardo, Star, Judah, the grandchildren, Zakia, Kelvin, Kendall, Kailika, Andrea, Javon. Perfect love over Brittany and Kaylee. Perfect love. Nisa, Lisa, Ryan, Kimberly, Amrit, Kyle, Anderson, Kaylon, Kyrell, Asante, Makila. Perfect love. As your destinies are being sealed. Something is happening. Something is happening. I feel the shift of the spirit. Something is happening this morning. My God. So many angels are being released out of this prayer room. Angels will visit your sons and daughters this week. You will see a renewed spirit. You will see a new joy come upon your sons and daughters. Something is happening this morning. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I release fresh oils over Chelsea, Anila, Amira, Anil, and Malia. Perfect love be released to our children this morning. To JJ and Shanaza, to Uchichi, 
Perfect love be released this morning to Daniel, Shane, Sean, Christy. The perfect love that cast out all fear. We cast out all fear from among our children. We cast out every fear. I declare your children will be bold. I declare your children will be courageous. I declare your children will walk in a renewed confidence. A renewed confidence comes upon them this morning. No longer will they be frightened. They will not be frightened. They will not have a fear of man. I remove every fear of man from all four children. I remove it. I remove it. They will fear no man in the mighty name of Jesus. Perfect love. Perfect love. Cast it out all fear. Perfect love over Kevin and Deborah, Diane, Soraya, Stephen, Debbie, Emily, Nicole, Joe, Kyle. Perfect love over Rebecca, Nathan, Rachel. Perfect love over Mackay, Cristiano, Kalani, and Liam. Perfect love. I seal their destinies. Perfect love over Shandel, Shalanda, and Stephen. I release perfect love. Angels are on assignment. Angels are just picking up your prayer request this morning. Something is happening. Something is happening. Oils are being poured upon your children's head as you stand in the gap. It's so important to stand in the gap for your young people. Perfect love to Judah Wilson. Perfect love over Anton, Miguel, Avian, Avian, Natalie, Nadia, Nadine. We are standing in the gap for the youth of our nation. We are standing in the gap for our young people. The enemy will not snatch them away from us. We cover them with the blood of Jesus. We lift up prayer shields over our young people and we hide them under the shadow of the Almighty. They will not be moved. The covering of the Lord, the covering of the Lord, the covering of the Lord be released. The covering of the Lord over your nieces, your goddaughters, your godsons, your cousins, your brothers, your sisters, curve on. Karen, Lisa, Shelly and Keith, Christina, Chelsea, Siddiq, Janaya, the Mary's kids, perfect love over Anora. Destinies are being sealed this morning. Many, many destinies are being sealed. We are intercepting the powers of darkness. The traps that the enemy had laid this carnival week for our young people. We intercept it. Angels are overturning the powers of darkness. My God, hallelujah. Angels are overthrowing the powers of darkness against our young people. Angels are picking up their names. As their names are being lifted on the prayer walls this morning. Amaria, Angelo, Janissa, Nizora. TJ, Shalon, Davy, Carl, Patsy, Gregory, Dickie, Rennie, Rachel, Sarah, Joseph, Luke, James, Charles. We release angels on assignment to our young people this morning. Angels are picking up your prayer requests. Angels are releasing perfect love to Ronald and Isaiah, Charles, Mary, Teresa, Nalini, Shellyan. Judel, perfect love. Perfect love be released over our young people. I seal their destinies this morning under the precious blood of Jesus. And I call it done in Yeshua's mighty name. Amen and amen. Woo! That's right. We have intercepted the powers of darkness this morning. I feel a release. Hallelujah. A release, a release, a release. There is a release in the realms of the spirit. The Lord says, fear not, worry not, for I have your children in the palm of my hands and no devil can snatch them out. There is a release. Mighty God, hallelujah. A release. A release. I sense a release. Hallelujah. Glory to God. 
I sense a release this morning. Hallelujah. What a mighty God we serve. Angels bow before him. Heaven and earth adore him. What a mighty God. Family of God, I want you to be on standby right after this. I have a powerful morning devotion coming up to encourage your spirit and encourage your heart as we are breaking new grounds this week. As I began our prayer room, the Lord uh, spoke to you and the word was released. The prophecy was released that we are breaking new grounds. And so I want you to get ready. Put your eyes on Jesus. Put your eyes on your destiny. Let's put our eyes on the greatness that God has for us in the month of February. We have already prayed. We have already fasted concerning the carnival season. And so now God is going to do what he alone can do. What you and I got to do now is continue working on our dream, continue working on the vision, continue working on our ministries, continue working on our families, our sons and our daughters, and get ready to break new grounds. Your new expression is coming forth this week. And many of you prayer leaders under the sound of my voice that you've got the prayer studios I want you to understand those Facebook live prayer studios. Every time you come on live, you should have a new expression. I want you to remember that it's not the same all, all the time there. You can do new things. You can do something new, try something new, have a new song, get a new expression, get a new spirit. Um, concerning what the Lord is saying to the, to the women, to the churches, to families, New expressions come in many different ways. Amen. We've got our, our, our youth prayer room. They come on and they do paintings and designs. That's an expression of the Lord. So I want to encourage you this morning. Don't dumb down the expressions of the Lord. The Lord wants to use you to express yourself with, with his glory, with his might, with his love, with his presence. Don't dumb down the expressions. Paint over your wall. Give it a new color. Get a new painting. Get a new vase of flowers. Do something different to express the love of the Lord to the nations of the world. It's the expressions of the Lord. The Lord wants to release his glory in the earth, but he wants to do it through you. So sons and daughters, we are breaking new grounds, and that simply means new expressions for a new season. I've got a morning devotion coming up that is going to lift your spirit and ignite your faith. Stand by. Somebody receive... Somebody say, I receive new expressions from the Lord. You've got to receive it, family. You've got to receive what is being spoken. That's the new grounds for some people. Receive the new expressions. Receive the new expressions of the Lord. It's new wineskin that is coming. Receive it.
just happen. There are some things that you learn in the process, in the painful grappling of climbing up to a place rather than being sat to a place. The things that you went through getting there give you the tenacity to stay there. The fight is your friend. My life was shaped in part through tragedies. And the weird thing about tragedies is that they don't tell you that they're shaping you. Intellect can describe it, but only instinct can find it. People always remember and talk about how you made it and you're king or you're, you're the president or you're the pope or whoever you are, but they don't understand what all you went through to get there. By the time I figured out what life was all about, it was time to go. I've been sick before. I made it. I've been broke before. I made it. I've been broken hearted before. I made it. I cried all night.
has turned its head to hear what you have to say. Do you have something to say or not? How you define success governs how you live your life. 
How you define success will govern how you live your life. What is your life's goal? What is your life's purpose? How you define that core place, that foundational tenet that drives everything else will determine how you live your life. And so when you think about success and when you identify what it is that matters, oftentimes there are pockets or highlights or just a little wink here or there that will help you to understand where you're supposed to be going and what it is you're supposed to be doing. What drives you? Where have you been with your life? Why are you here? And where are you going? I don't know what your truth is. I'm just sharing my perspective. I'm not trying to proselytize. This is not that moment. I just want you to be true to who you are. Because I don't believe in accidental lives. Please hear me. I don't think you can just sneak into the earth. I believe you are spoken into the earth. And so you are necessary for a particular problem that only you can solve. And until you identify that thing, you will walk through life frustrated, trying to figure out why you can't find joy, why you don't have peace. And even though you have a lot of money, you still feel empty on the inside. Here's the other thing, write this down. You're going to fail your way to success. Eight out of ten millionaires have been financially bankrupt. Walt Disney filed bankruptcy seven times and had two nervous breakdowns. You will fail your way to success. And it's not really failure. You're going to learn some stuff. When I win, I win because of what I know. When I lose, I lose because of something that I did not know. And I've got to educate myself. I've got to elevate my thinking. I've got to get some input from some of the people in my group. Einstein said, the thinking that has brought me this far has created some problems that this thinking can't solve. And now what you think about your financial freedom number. What is that number that once you achieve that, you become debt free? It's a good feeling. Once you achieve that, alleviate a lot of stress in your life. Once you achieve that, you'll be able to do things for your family members and friends. So I want you to think about your financial freedom number and whatever that number is, and listen to me closely, I want you to multiply it a hundred times. Multiply it a hundred times. And don't ask yourself how you're going to do it. How you're going to do it is none of your business. You have a power and a presence in you can, that can do more than you can ever begin to imagine. And I'm going to share some tools with you how you can begin to grow that because one of the easiest things I've ever done was to earn a million dollars. That was easy. But the most difficult thing I've ever done, it took years to do, was to believe that I can do it. That I can do it. Who's going to be impacted because of what you're doing today? If your business or your vision or your model is successful, who will be impacted 200 years from now? I'm encouraging you to hold the vision tenaciously, regardless of what you're going through, regardless of the challenges and setbacks that you're experiencing. I want you to write this affirmation down, because you're going to go through some tough times. Think it not strange that you'll face the fiery furnaces in this world. You will, not you might. You will have tribulations. Write this down. No matter how bad it is or how bad it gets, I'm going to make it. That's what I had to affirm. No matter how bad it is or how bad it gets, I'm going to make it. You see, it's necessary that you have a strategy to work on your mind on a regular basis. We're taught, be not conformed to this world, be transformed by the renewing of your mind. And that takes focus and that takes discipline. I'm encouraging you. What is it that drives you? What is the thing that gives your life meaning? Until you find that you will be broken thinking success is one thing, and when you achieve it, you will realize you don't have it anymore. And so as you think about your goals and dreams, what's very important is your mindset, your belief, that you have to believe in your dream, even when you don't have any evidence to support it. Even when everybody is against you, you've got to believe that I can do this after defeat and disappointment. Willie Jolly was right, a setback is a setup for a comeback. You have comeback power. You're here because you're different. 
got to make a decision. You're going to live your dream as part of it. It's necessary that you have that kind of mindset because you're going to have some opposition. Things are going to happen that you can't begin to imagine. And so how people live their lives, I've come to know, is a result of the story they believe about themselves. Look at yourself and look at your goals and your dreams. I want you to think about your personal goal, your financial goal, and I want you to think about your social contribution. What will be different because you showed up? And as we think about our goals and dreams, it's going to take everything in you. You have to work on yourself, work on your mindset, because you're going to take some hits. Here's something else. Practice this. OQP, write that down. Only quality people. As Keith was talking about, you you got to look at the people in your life and ask what value are they bringing to me and what value are you bringing to them. If you're the smartest one in your group, as Dr. Dennis Kimbrough out of Atlanta said, you need to get a new group. Find people who are doing what it is you want to do. Develop a relationship because success leaves clues. And the other thing you told me, OQP, only quality people. Let go or be dragged. Let all the negative, toxic people in your life go. The achievement of a goal locked and lined in with your purpose, that is success. What were you created to do every single day for who you are? Are you doing what you were created to do? Until you get there, you're going to be constantly frustrated, constantly trying to figure out why did this thing that I want so bad not bring me the happiness I thought would be attendant with it. Who you are, what your purpose is, And the gifts and the calling that you have are so unique that there will never be another you in the history of the earth. You must achieve. That's why you're here. You're driven to succeed. You're driven to maximize moments. You're driven to success. And this is my plea to you. That for the young guys like me that were looking for a leader, that were looking for someone to look up to. May your idea, may your company, may your business, may your vision be the thing that other people can latch on to and attach to and find hope. And not just hope, but healing for the heart. There are a lot of brokenhearted people walking around right now. And if you're a part of this nation, we need all the hope we can get. We need all the peace we can get. We need all the forward-thinking entrepreneurs and success drivers that we can get. Because the success of one needs to be the blessing for all. When you have been given something of great substance and significance, it is not for you to hoard it and to keep it to yourself. It is for you to determine that whatever you have been entrusted with is not just for you to accumulate, but to be a good steward so that those who don't have can at least have a chance to achieve their dreams as well. You've got to learn to listen to yourself. You've got too many distractions from the phone and text messages and all these other platforms out here. I don't take a phone call unless, and write this down, is it positive? If it's not positive, I'm not going to take it. Is it purposeful? Is it something that's in relationship to what I'm doing and where I'm going? Is this a contributor or a taker? There are people who are always there when they need you, but when you need them, you can't find them. Is it productive? Is this worth my time at 72? I'm not willing to waste my time talking with somebody, and it's not going to lead to anything. It's not productive. And is it profitable? Can I make some money with this person? You need to know that. Why? Your time is valuable. You're going to lose something, lose some money. Time? You don't want to lose that money. You can recoup that time. You can. And so as you look at yourself, protect your time. Imagine, if you will, being on your deathbed and standing around your bed. The ghost, the ideas, the ability to do for whatever reason. pursue those dreams. You never act on those ideas. You never use those talents. You never... Use those gifts, and there they are, standing around your bed, looking at you with large, angry eyes, saying, we came to you, 
And only you could have given us life. And now we must die with you. The question is, if you died today, what dreams, what gifts, what talents, what abilities would die with you? What a powerful morning devotion to ignite your faith and to lift your spirits, to let you know that you are important to God and you've got work to do. Family of God, we've got places to go, we've got people to meet, we've got mountains to move, we've got atmospheres to shift, and we've got new expressions to birth forth in the earth. This is our week to break new grounds. I'm telling you, I'm telling you what the Lord showed me while I was in prayer concerning this carnival week, all the different prayer points that I listed. The Lord said unto me, just begin it in the, mon the day of Monday, and when you move over to Tuesday, keep moving forward with the people keep your vi your vision keep your focus don't lose focus because we're coming in to a more strategic season and that's the season of breaking new grounds and so beloved of god i just speak over your life strength strength to break new Strength to build the, the, the new buildings, strength to expand, strength to put up the walls, strength to put up the roof, strength to put up windows and doors. I release strength over builders under the sound of my voice. Strength comes upon you now to handle building materials wisely. Strength in the mighty name of Jesus. You will break new grounds. You will access new realms. You will take new new spaces you will open new places i declare strength 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 over your life we are breaking new grounds we are breaking new grounds come on beloved of god trinidad and tobago is waiting on you trinidad and tobago is waiting on your expression we're not going to lose focus, but we're going to keep our focus on the Lord. We are working for Jesus. We are working for Jesus. Come on, do I got any millionaire woman in the house? We are working for Jesus. Kingdom women on kingdom assignments. And if the prophets are in the house, men of God on kingdom assignments. We got places to go, people to meet, houses of prayer to build, entrepreneurs to establish, business places to open, new places to furnish. Come on, we've got things to do, people to meet, places to go. Great and mighty works shall be worked by your hands in the mighty name of Jesus. We are breaking new grounds. We are breaking new grounds. This is the year of great exploits. And you got a work to do for the Lord that no other person can do but you. Whatever the Lord has assigned you to do, you've got to do it with the courage of the Lord. It takes courage to be successful. It takes courage to do something new. It takes courage. I get it. I understand. It takes courage to break new grounds. It takes great courage. But this morning, the angels of the Lord are here. And I hear the Lord say, be strengthened. Be strengthened because all of the courage that you need comes now. 
Receive all the courage you need. Courage from above. Courage to access new realms. Courage to break forth and to break out. Courage to open new businesses. Courage to take new spaces. Courage to furnish new places. Receive the courage of the Lord to bring forth that new expression of yourself. We serve an unlimited God because with God, nothing shall be impossible. And that's your portion this morning. With God, nothing shall be impossible. Nothing, nothing, nothing. The millionaire's anointing is in this house. And the millionaire's anointing be released unto you. And I know many people get all crocky and all, all religious when we talk about the millionaire's anointing. But this is the kind of anointing that you have labored for, that you have worked hard to receive. You have put in the hours, you have put in the time, you have put in the work. And so now God is bringing you into the millionaire's anointing. No devil can question it. No witch can question it. No warlock can question it. No critic can question it. It's the millionaire's anointing that is being released unto you because God is paying you back for every time the devil hurt you, for every time the devil humiliate you, for every time the devil stole from you. God has an obligation to pay you back a hundredfold return. Receive the millionaire's anointing. Everything you do will shine with glory. Everything you do, you will take little and make much. You will take natural and turn it into supernatural by the hand of the Lord. It's the millionaire's anointing. I'm telling you, it's the anointing to shine bright like diamonds. It's the millionaire's anointing. You will owe no man, no excuse, no reason for shining. It's the millionaire's anointing. Receive it on your life now. God is going to bless you and he's going to bless you big time because you've got a heart for people. You've got a heart to build uh, systems of lifehood, livelihood, systems that will empower others. You've got a heart for the widows. You've got a heart to feed the hungry. You've got a heart to care for the less fortunate. You've got a heart for people and that's why God is going to bless you. That's why God is setting you up for one of the biggest, biggest, greatest blessings of your life. Do you want it? You got to receive it. People that want it. It's for the people that got vision. It's for the people that got for the people who know that they know that they've been called to the nation to make a difference. A provision that will service your millionaire dreams. It's provision that will your ideas, your visions. Provision is coming for the vision. Angels are picking up our declarations this morning to agreement with us receive the millionaire's anointing on your life you're going to do great work for the lord thank you for provision provision for the vision it's here beloved receive your portion receive your portion receive your portion this morning and that's the word of the lord unto you today you are getting provision for the vision well family of god some technical difficulties there but the lord bless you the lord keep you and the lord make his face to shine upon you receive your portion of the millionaire's anointing provision for the vision has come in jesus name receive it